and now there is official acknowledgement that there was a murder. Where is the body? This one was not the bombshell that some of us have been waiting for, but was more a, a firecracker reminding us of how many loose ends there are in the investigation of the death of our Washington Post colleague, Jamal Khashoggi. The president of Turkey may have additional evidence that he's holding over the head of Saudi Arabia. We have to remember that Saudi Arabia and Turkey are the primary com combatants, if you will, for influence in the Sunni Muslim world. This is a story that's been going on for a hundred years, uh, and certainly uh, there's a curiosity as to whether the Turkish president Erdogan is seeking to drive a wedge between King Salman uh, and his son, Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman. In Erdogan's remarks, interestingly, he was very generous towards King Salman. Personally, I do not doubt the sincerity of His Excellency, the King Salman bin Abdulaziz, custodian of the two holy mosques. He didn't mention Mohammed bin Salman at all. But I have to say, in terms of my own reporting and that of my colleagues, we do not yet see signs of a significant split within the royal family. The royal, fam royal family appears to be holding together for now. For President Trump and for all the senior U.S. officials who are dealing with this, I think the essential thing they have to understand is that this steady drip, 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 erosion of the Saudi position, one statement after another that has to be withdrawn because it's shown to be false, isn't in Saudi Arabia's interest. It isn't in the interest of a strong U.S.-Saudi relationship. It isn't in the interest of uh, America's uh, regional goals. The Saudis have to find a way to put out everything, including the most damaging information. It's like a situation where someone's being blackmailed. The only way you escape that situation is to put out everything. Whether Mohammed bin Salman can survive that complete disclosure, I don't know. This tragedy, as happens sometimes, can be a, a motivation for getting some other fundamentals right. The Jamal Khashoggi's murder was a terrible thing. We need to know how that happened. But also, Saudi Arabia needs to look at the other things, the other impulsive decisions that have been made under Mohammed bin Salman and begin to correct those.